I kill him. And then, you know, I'll... Come on, somebody pull the fucking... Oh, there we go. Did somebody pull the lever? Nobody fucking pulled... Somebody fucking pull the fucking lever. Please. What job? Some... Oh, my God. I swear to God. If somebody doesn't pull this fucking lever, I'm going to... I'm going to literally just... I don't even know. I don't even know. If somebody pull the fucking lever. I would have dead. I would have killed him. Somebody pull the lever. I want him to pull the lever. <sighs> but, oh, but anyway. Um, since we are waiting, let's actually go look at their items right real quick. We'll go from the bottom. Looks like they do have quite a lot of food. Some amethyst crowns. Mostly it seems like food with these guys, but they do carry quite a bit of uh, metal stuff. From what I did read on the Genesis stuff, okay, claim the craft dwarf workshop. I don't give a fuck what you do. <laughs> anyway, so that guy came to claimed a craft dwarf's workshop. It is now summer. I'm talking non-stop. Oh my god. It's, 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 everything's happening all at once. Anyway, I got kind of craft dwarf workshop. What was I going to say? Um, I don't even remember. That's right. I was reading on the Genesis stuff about, um, like, specifically about some of these races. And uh, the Dusk Elves are kind of similar to the standard Dwarf Fortress Elves, except they are a little bit more into the whole metal thing. They don't mind if you cut down trees, and they, they do ah, get all... Oh, uh, the Snatcher. Where are they? Mind Why, wow, that guy just will not fucking leave. Get the fuck out of here. Go away. Nobody likes you. Yeah, anyway, somebody pull the lever. <laughs> oh, they will eventually. Anyway. Please. Oh, well. I don't even know. I really don't. I really, really don't. <sighs> well, we'll see. Given time, somebody will pull that fucking lever. Because I don't want to have to fight those guys. I can't do that there. Maybe if I cancel all of this right real quick, one of them will. Did somebody pull that lever real quick? E no. Nobody pulled the lever. I mean, we've got time to wait. I mean, we really do. So we'll let them all go take a quick little break right real quick. Let them do what they do, what they do, what they do. Hopefully one of them will actually bring water and food to these guys down here. Let's become a militia commander. I know a lot of this stuff actually got canceled because of that ambush and all that. Uh, something got can Ah, that got canceled. That got canceled. That got canceled. That got canceled. That got... See, I'm canceling these now. There, there. Then I got canceled. And that got canceled. And that got canceled. So probably some of this stuff down here also did too, but let's go check. Suspended. It didn't get it didn't get canceled, it just got suspended. So that that's that's that. Okay, so we'll just go back up here. That guy did claim a craft dwarf workshop. Let's let you go check on him real quick. Did uh, he get everything he needs? Let's you also check what he's always bringing in. He's got uh, rough presses and moss opal. Okay, so I mean, he's, he's got some jewels. We did get that closed up, so I'm going to bring in Scott A, B, C, D, and E. Move them here again. that will take them a minute, but you know that's fine. And they all become their little swords, dwarfy things, and B, C, D, E, then that'll take them a minute. So I'll just cancel out of that right real quick while I go look at what they're doing up here. It seems like they are picking up a lot of this stuff. Um, corpses and whatnot. Pretty nice. They didn't, uh, these guys didn't have many. How did he have a cobalt crossbow? How very queer. Anyway, these Mind Flayer guys didn't seem to have any, like, real weapons. He had, that guy had a buckler. Okay, so he did have a buckler, but that's that's really the extent of it. Anyway, so the military guys are getting up here a little bit slowly. We'll see how that goes. Um, animals, I'm probably gonna have to eventually just start killing off a lot of animals all at once, because we are really, really, really running into issues with that. Gosh. Looks like there's another fucking snatcher. 
Flash Warper Thief. Like, is he trying to fight that guy? No, he's just trying to run away. That military dwarf is just... Just being him. So what the fuck is with this? Like, this Dusk Elf guy just, like, is went to bed over here. Hold on, what is he doing? And, okay, I can also check his inventory right real quick. He's got a Cobalt Recurve Bow, okay. So anyway, I'm gonna go to squads A, B, C, D, and E. The better majority of them are here. Stop telling me about that, I don't give a shit. Anyway, kill. Rectangle. Right here. And I don't want to kill the yak bull or the yak cow. Or... The H.I.J. I don't want to kill any of that stuff. Or that yak cow. Or that yak cow. I don't really want to kill the yaks. And unless I have to, but... You know. That's if I have to. Let's have them go out there and just start a war! And it looks like one person already got shot down. That's that's just that's gonna happen. Uh, one of the good things about this military stuff is a lot of the dwarves who do survive these battles will be stronger than the rest. Doing actual battles like this do get the dwarves stronger than uh, if they were just training. It looks like this guy got hurt pretty bad. Her heart is bruised. Her upper body is cut open. Her left upper arm is cut open. That's pretty bad. Um, he has witnessed death. He has sustained major industry in. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, injuries. A, B, C, D, E, D, Q, R. How many of them are still left? Quite a few, so I'll just let them keep going on that. Still quite a bit of fighting going on, it seems. And a fucking another snatcher? It's that same motherfucking guy. I swear it has to be. Also, did they try to escape? I don't know. Anyway, so let's go check this right real quick. Did we uh, kill all of them? Kill, rectangle, kill. Oh, wait, I've just selected move, my bad. Kill, rectangle, how many of them are left? Just the one merchant. Resume. Everyone, after him! Kill him. Do it. I don't know what they're doing. What, 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 what's going on here, guys? What, what's going on? What, what, are you pussying out? Come on, this is not the time. That or they already killed him. And I'm just not paying any attention. Shut the fuck up, Freddy. I don't give a shit. I'm, I'm sorry. He, he's actually a nice guy. He's, he's a pretty cool guy. So, it looks like we lost one, two, three, four dwarves in all of that. Pretty bad. That guy's actually started on that construction. That's, eh. Whatever. So, we'll pull that lever. Do We, we do get to own these. Now, we did get a nice little boost to our meat. And we got a hell of a boost to our plant. Look at that. We're up to 840. Damn! So I did, we'll get that lever be pulled. We do have quite a few dwarves there in the hospital. One of them probably will die. Not gonna lie on that. Not even gonna lie. So we'll have a few more beds placed down here. Eventually we're gonna have to have that stuff, this area cleaned off. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. So let's actually go to reclaim. Reclaim all of this stuff. Alright, that's gonna be that. We should get quite a nice boost to our stuff. Like, I, all of our stocks for this, and somebody's already taking that bucket. Very nice, very nice. And the reason I'm actually going to go to, uh, B, T, C, T, D, T, E, T, I do want to set them all off duty for a while. I want to give them, I, I want to give them a break. I really do. They've kind of gotten hurt. A lot of them are, uh, a lot of them are not doing too hot. Like, this guy, his upper arm is fractured. We're going to need to go over here to Dwarf Therapist, if I can find it down here at the bottom. I've got so much shit for Dwarf Fortress open. It's <gasps> unreal. Anyway, so I'm going to be setting that open. And those three up there should be doing absolute... I'm going to set them... I'm going to make it where they cannot do anything else but take care of people. There we go. Commit change. Perfect. Perfect. Also, I'm thinking about, like, designating just a giant pool of water. Interrupted by Mind Flayer Master Thief. Okay. You know, that's... 
That's not scary and off-putting at all. Mind Flayer Master. That guy is just sti These Mind Flayer guys are persistent as fuck. They are just poking and poking at our fort, aren't they? Anyway, so it does look like we've got quite a few dwarves who are in dire straits. A lot of them here are just resting. Like this guy, fractured, or cut open, or guts are bruised. Fucking terrible. Uh, this guy requires stuff, but I don't care. Chief Medical Dwarf, you! 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 I might replace you. Actually, you're already our Chief Medical Dwarf. You're the only one with any relevant skills. God damn it. But, uh, I should get a few of those things put up up there. How's Soundsense doing? It is still up. It is now summer. It's not really playing much in the way of music or anything like that. It's one of the reasons why it's pissing me off as of late. It's just not doing what I want it to do. And I don't know why. I really don't. But it uh, looks like that guy became a siege jumper. Now, I do want the dwar uh, the military guys to just take a break for a while. Like, you, you've been in the military for a while. It's been quite intense. It's been a fantastic witness death, annoyed by flies. Um, is irritated by the sun. Hmm. That, that's another thing we're going to have to do. We're going to have to start getting our dwarves a little bit more acquainted with the sun. We've been keeping them underground for a little bit too long, and that's playing on their health a little bit. Because, I mean, we keep seeing that irritated by the sun thing. That is one of the side effects of them um, pretty much not being in the sun for a while. Alright, since fucking sound sense is being retarded, I'm just going to put some band camp stuff on, see if that works out. Um... So yeah, we got a, we got a lot of uh, dwarves in the hospital. Also, if you guys have any like ref uh, preferences for what kind of music you want in the background, just you know, what I mean, you go for it. I mean, I, I don't mind that sort of stuff. Like, what you want me to do for the music in the background? If you guys even give a shit about that, you might not even fucking care. And I might be the only one who really wants any of that in the background. And for all I know, it could come to bite me in the ass later on to have it. But you know, whatever, right? I know that I know that dwarf um, dwarf fortress YouTube sometimes has little quirks about that, but I hope nothing happens with it. Anyway, anyway, I do have a bit of that music in the background. Anyway, so that's um, some stuff for Bad Cap. If you guys know anything that you... Oh, God damn it! shut the fuck up. Alright, we got a Dolomite Flute. It's a new artifact. Let's go check that out. And the Worship of Gloom. It's worth a little bit. Oh my god. <laughs> The artwork relates to the mortal wounding of a yak bull by the stone dwarf Fav with an obsidian short door sword and metal shield in the late blah blah blah. The item is an image of Ryan Moss Opal and the item and other elf bullshit. Don't really give a shit. If you care, pause it, read it, go for it. Have fun. I don't really care. So, there's that. Also, is that Mastiff Leather? That's Math Mastiff Suede Water Skin. That's kind of... Weird. Okay. Um, and, that, and Freddy called me. He wanted to play Lee. He bought some skin, and it's like I wanna play. He's a good guy. Odd at times. Angry is all holy sin, but you know, who isn't these days? It seems. Anyway, so now that we've got that done, um, we're gonna have a lot of dwarves here in the hospital. It looks like one of them has already kind of gotten out. Which is good, because we had all those beds down there filled at the bottom, unless he died. In which case, fuck. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, shit, he's dead. That's terrible, but hopefully that's not the case. Anyway, so, I do think a, a bunch of these got cancelled again. Yes, fucking suspension bullshit. Dude, that's, one of the, that's one of the worst things about this, and that's something that's going to um, bother us a lot when we're doing this. And not really bother you guys, bother me, but here we go. Alright, so we should have that all done fairly well. Good job, good job. Good jobs all around. Also, the blood thing here. Well, one of the things I was going to talk about also is I'm thinking we're going to have to start setting up like a, an area filled with clean, clean water. Um, the reason for that is these... Wells. Whenever somebody goes to clay, look! Look at all this blood. Look at this. Look at these pages and pages of dwarf blood. It is insane in the membrane. It really, really is. 
So what we're going to need to do eventually is we're, I'm probably going to have to start digging out an area here close by in the fort that I can literally just fill with water. I can set it as a pond or an empty pit or something like that. Maybe leave an area of it open so that it... Or maybe leave the better part of it empty. Or not empty, but uh, uh, open to the surface so it will refill with water, hopefully. I don't know if it will work like that. I think only murky pools work like that. But, you know, we can we can hope, we can pray. And just, like, have it filled with water specifically for stuff like this so I can clean it out, stuff like that. We shouldn't have much issue if we do it like that. It's, that's my thought on it. So, probably what we're going to do is um, this area, probably in the same size as that, I'm just going to dig out an area on the opposite side.